All right, now we're going to be starting up an HTTP server. So let's start by adding some code comments up here. We're just going to know that this is the primary file for the API. And before we do anything, we are going to need one of Node's built-in modules called HTTP. This is the HTTP server that lets you listen on ports and respond with, uh, with data. This one is called HTTP. So we are going to require the HTTP module by saying require HTTP, and we're just going to assign it back to the variable HTTP. You'll notice that a lot of people have started using const instead of var. That works as well. So the way the HTTP server works is we first need to use the HTTP module to define what the server does. And then later on, we need to actually tell the server to start listening on a specific port. So I'm just going to add some commenting so that we know what we're about to fill in. Okay, so what this says is that the server should respond to all requests with a string, hello world or whatever, and that then we need to start the server and have it listen on port 3000. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to configure the server, we are going to create a server object. Let's just call it server. We're going to use HTTP.createServer, and we're going to pass it a callback and that callback accepts two parameters rec which stands for request and res which stands for response and I'll explain that what that means more in a second now we're going to use one of the functions built into the res object that will be coming back to send a string back in response to any request so res dot end hello world and then we want to terminate it with a new line. Now we need to tell the server to start listening on a port. So we are going to say server listen on 3000 and also give us a callback to tell us when you're done listening. And when it is done listening, we're going to log out that The server is listening on port 3000 now. So we have these two really simple functions. The first one defines the behaviors of the server. We are creating the server and then saying that it should respond with a hello world. And then second, we are telling it to listen on port 3000. Let's go ahead and run this program and see what happens. We're going to run it by calling the same thing that we did in the previous lecture, node index.js. We have a console log that the server is listening on port 3000 now. But how can we test it? Let's go ahead and open a new tab in our terminal. And I'm just going to curl localhost 3000 and see I got back the string, hello world. OK, now I'm going to close our curl client back out and kill this server by pressing control C. Otherwise, that server just listens continuously. It is keeping the node.js event loop busy by telling it it always has something new to do, which is continue to listen on the server on port 3000. So in order to get the program to stop, we actually have to proactively kill it. And that's what the uh, control C does. If you're on a Windows machine or something other than OS X, your command will be different. It'll be whatever the command is that normally kills programs in the command line.